Okay, you guys, I promised you an easy Italian beef soup, and we're going to make together start to finish in just a couple of minutes. So what you're going to do is heat a pan on medium high, and then you're going to add about a cup. I think this is like six ingredients total. It's super simple. I usually I spray it with a nonstick cooking spray, maybe coat it with oil, then a cup of carrots. So I usually have baby carrots at home, so I just dice or slice those up, saute them for just a couple of minutes until they get some good color on them, then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. So then a can of diced tomatoes. Now the diced tomatoes that you want to get are the kind with basil and oregano, uh, the, the really Italian flavored diced tomatoes. Tomato, tomatoes because you know what they cut your ingredients list because you get all of those great flavors in one can and that's what you want and then we're going to add cannellini beans which is kind of the classic Italian bean uh, but if you want you can use garbanzos use kidney beans use whatever you have on hand that works so we asked the question of you earlier and on our Facebook page so many of you gave great responses on what you do to minimize food waste or do you have a problem with that so this is one of those recipes that I kind of call like the kitchen sink recipe because you can throw just about anything into it and it's going to taste great. Okay, so I'm going to get my heat up to high. You saw me pour beef broth. As it starts to really come together and boil, here's what you're going to do. Remember that ground beef that we meal prepped, that we put in the freezer last Monday? Well, you're going to add it now. So you want want a couple of cups of that. Whatever you have in the freezer will work. So what you do, the point of that whole recipe was just to meal prep on Monday, and then you have cooked ground beef ready to use throughout the week. So I like to put it in zip top bags, I keep it in the freezer, and then we can use it for the next one to two weeks. It's super simple, easy to add, it's already been cooked, the only thing it's flavored with is salt and onion, so it's almost like a canvas for whatever you want to add it in. So I've been making recipes with that um, this past week. All right, last thing we're going to add handfuls. Now as it starts to get hot and really simmer, Mike, is when you want to add the spinach, okay? So lots of fresh spinach. I call this the energy ingredient because if you want more energy, I don't know what it is. Everybody that I've given this recommendation to, really? it works. Well, it works for Popeye. Add to, uh, yeah, 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 it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Wasn't a chicken sandwich, it was spinach. Add two cups of spinach in uh, to lunch, dinner, wherever you want to add it, add fresh spinach. I'll throw it into a smoothie. Right. I don't think we've made that yet. I need to, yes. have, do you I do, do that? Well, you, yep. you, okay, I was going to say, greens, if not. Apple, yeah, just throw spinach. everything into the blender. Yep. So what's going to happen as the soup cooks, the spinach is going to wilt down. Okay. And all of those flavors kind of marry together. Super delicious. Now, when people come to me for weight loss, this is one of the first recipes I give them because it is filled with protein, Got it. vegetables, fiber right. and it just keeps you fills going you oh it fills you up and on a dreary day like today <laughs> you just need soup to warm your insides you don't you okay <laughs> so what i would do uh, this is almost now the beef's already cooked it's almost i would let it simmer for like 10 minutes okay but it's almost warm enough for you to try you so i'm going to get you yeah, I, yeah, you could keep it on high. Say if I made this for like the big game day, oh, I would yeah. just put it, yeah, put it on low, let it simmer, let people eat on it. Probably do it in a crock pot long. as well. I bet. Absolutely, you could transfer it to a crock pot. Then I do uh, the Olive Garden thing and I take some, <laughs> take some Parmesan and put it on top. Super delicious, easy. You're making a mess. There you go, isn't okay. it beautiful? <laughs> the the messy for. memories are made in the kitchen, right? Good stuff. Six More ingredient beef. soup, there you go. All right, I think mm. we're going to toss it over to Amber. He's going to take the rest of this home. I'm going to let him this time, Amber. Oh, Thank yeah, you. I want Mike's job right now just right. to be the taste tester, right, you guys? <laughs> That's right. Looks and sounds.